Since 1999, a team of engineers at the Johnson Space Center in Houston has been working to develop the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer Integration Hardware. The NASA hardware provides the support for the AMS experiment components made at various places throughout Europe, Asia, and North America. Made primarily of high-strength aluminum to save weight, this precision aerospace hardware is designed to support the AMS experiment during the extreme launch environment and the harsh environment of space during the payload's long stay on the International Space Station. NASA developed hardware at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Once completed, the vacuum cases were delivered to Oxford, England for integration with the AMS magnet. First, the structural test article magnet system was completed in England and then sent to Italy and the Netherlands for testing. Following testing, the STA magnet was delivered to CERN in Geneva, Switzerland for integration into the flight unique support structure. After the NASA integration hardware, including the unique support structure and structural test article magnet, were integrated with structural test articles of the AMS experiment components, the entire structural test article payload was transported to IABG in Munich, Germany to undergo structural testing. The testing is comprised of three separate static tests to levels well above any expected launch environments. This video shows the payload being readied for those static tests. Strain gauges are applied at over 160 locations across the payload. The payload is lowered into a testing pit, and actuators are attached in the three different configurations. The actuators are used to push and pull on the hardware to simulate the launch environments. Once the static tests are completed, the hardware is instrumented with accelerometers. Small actuators are used to excite the payload with low-level vibrations. The vibrations are mapped using the accelerometer data, and the dynamic characteristics of the overall payload can be used to make sure that the computer math models are accurate. This method of testing is called modal testing and is extremely common in the aerospace industry. The hardware responds to dynamic excitation in a predictable manner. These mode shapes describe how the payload will respond to a given set of dynamic excitations. The mode shape animations are based on math models. The math models are updated to match the actual results measured during the payload modal testing. The payload structural testing will be completed in August 2007. Once complete, the structure will be returned to Geneva. The structural test article components will be removed and the flight experiment components will be attached to the unique support structure. This integration in Geneva will be the culmination of seven years of development and testing work by 50 institutes from 16 countries. The JSE team is proud to be a part of this exciting payload.